Dear learners, welcome to this video cast in the knowledge series on strategic management. The series will cover strategic management and its important concepts. The current knowledge series on strategic management is brought to you by G. Tendritoma, an educationist and a consultant. In this cast, we will look at what is Abel's matrix, and thereafter try to understand the matrix. Within the cast, we will also see how to apply Abel's framework to a business. Abel described the strategic planning process as the starting principle for an organization's business. This process in turn is driven by the mission statement, which provides direction, focus, and the basis for strategies, to be further elaborated and driven down. Abel used three key questions as the three dimensions on his model, and these are the foundation for the formulation of the mission statement itself. What are the customers of the organization? How can the organization meet the needs of its customers? What techniques are employed by the organization to meet these customer needs? When plotted on a three-dimensional model, the horizontal axis is taken as the customer groups, the vertical axis as their buying needs, and the inclined axis is taken as the applied technologies. Taken together, a summarized version of the organization's business model can be viewed in one glance. This overview helps provide the company with a quick glance at the factors most important to the development of a marketing concept. The framework can be optimized by sorting the different factors that make up all three dimensions by their relative importance for the company. The most important factors should be closest to the zero coordinates and should be given the highest priority and will be immediately visible to the company. The three dimensions of Abel's matrix. Let us explore. The three dimensions of Abel's matrix are deliberated here with. The first dimension is customer needs. This leg of the model identifies and lists down all the customer needs that are relevant to the company in question. Customer needs are identified based on the product offering, and a link is made to customer benefits. As an example, a software developer who has studied customer needs in relation to their product will respond by providing easy to install software packages and may provide other useful options such as an antivirus, a software cleanup option, as well as manuals and tech support. The second dimension is customer groups. There would be no market without customers purchasing products on offer. This is why marketing is all about the buyers. It is vital for every organization to understand how to segment the market and which segments to target in order to successfully sell a product to them. Once the market has been segmented, the company needs to work toward acquiring as much knowledge as possible about the different target groups and offer specific products or campaigns to these segments. The software manufacturer may choose to serve both business and customers and will need a separate strategy and account managers for its B2B and B2C lines of business. And, the third dimension is the technologies. Unlike the name suggests, the word technologies is referred here in a broader context to describe all those technologies that are used to create a product as well as put in on the market. Issues here include things as diverse as the marketing campaign being used or the way market research must be conducted. Taking the software example further, the manufacturer will use the latest technologies in the product itself as well as proving a help desk which provides the best possible and most relevant information.
the matrix has certain limitations. Let us see what these limitations are. The first and foremost limitation is that there is a strict marketing emphasis within the Abel's model, which limits the framework from being widely used and is a key approach used to define competitive strategies for a business. In addition, there is no room to accommodate external factors such as governments and other regulating bodies. The three-dimensional model also makes the analysis more complex than a two-dimensional one. There is only a provision for abstract growth directions and the model does not provide support to determine the appropriate size and scale of the business. The current cast is part of Knowledge Series on Strategic Management, and is podcasted by Jitendra Toma. The upcoming session will elaborate on how to apply Abel's framework to a business. To begin implementing this model, it is first important to understand the dimensions and the entire model space. The three-dimensional space of the cube is the business scope of the company. The model helps identify what the company has been doing, and also helps create a conceptual framework to identify opportunities for the future. Some key questions to help create this model for your company include What are the current customer groups, segments that we are serving? What needs are we meeting for these customers? What features or uses of our products are fulfilling these needs? Are the new customer groups with similar needs that are not being served? Can there be other uses of the product to fulfill other needs? Are there other technologies that need to be utilized to serve the needs of existing customers? Reflecting the business on the three dimensions. The matrix is built to question the business model along three dimensions. The first dimension is, what? In this dimension, the objective is to identify the needs of the consumer that are met by the product. This is done by identifying and characterizing the solution, the product or service, in terms of its features, that it brings to the customer segments identified in the WHO category. These features may include improved effectiveness or efficiency, better risk management, greater well-being among others. The second dimension is, who? Here, the idea is to completely identify, and understand customer profiles of those segments being served. Once the segments are identified, work can be done to retain the segments that are most relevant. Segments can be individual customers, business customers, geographical location, sedentary or nomadic, role in the industry social professional category, purchasing power or level of education among others. The third dimension of Abel's matrix is, how? At this stage, those means are identified and characterized through which the highlighted features are manufactured and delivered to customers. These means or technology include manufacturing techniques such as a choice of technical processes, or a specific form of organization. Distribution techniques, such as home delivery, retailers, wholesalers, and large distribution. And provision technologies, such as user license, remote operations, and so on. Some applications of Abel's model. The matrix can be used in a number of ways by an organization. Some of these uses include defining the business scope at three business levels, including the corporate level, the business level, and the lower organizational levels, describing and communicating changes in the business definition. These changes may usually be a result of the company's offering moving through the product life cycle. 
describing and communicating the business of any competitors in the market. This definition can be extremely helpful to the organization to better understand who they are up against. Analyzing the growth opportunities for a business in a systematic and organized way, which can help keep a track of these and implement at the right times. Describing and communicating the evolution of markets. This brings us to the end of the cast on Abel's framework and its application in a business. Thanks for watching the cast from the knowledge series on strategic management. To be apprised of the release of more knowledge series videos on the subject matter, please subscribe to the channel. Best wishes for all your endeavors.